What would you say you're most proud of yourself for? Being happy both times and not letting what I can't have overcome it. The doctors told us to prepare for a life without her. He said, Amanda, the gene affected is type 1D. And by the grace of God, we were already a few years into it, so I had learned not to Google what that meant. And he had told me it was a early onset, a fast progression, and a short life expectancy. And to this day, that is all I know about it, because that's all I need to know. I don't need to know anything else. What's something everybody should know about you? That I'm happy the way I am. Be grateful for what you have. Because something could change in a second. Welcome to SBSK. Join me as I travel around the world and interview individuals living with a condition to prove no matter how you communicate or what obstacles you face, you're always deserving of love and acceptance. So without hesitation, let's meet today's friend. Granted one wish, anything at all. What is your wish? You're gonna laugh, but to have a horse. Let me just be honest. That would probably be it. Why a horse? I've always wanted one. They just could have understand, I guess. They, they just, it's people like me. Jacqueline has Charcot Marie Tooth Disease Type 1D. Um, it affects her literally from her shoulders down. She has no movement from the neck down. It gets kind of irritating sometimes. Whenever you can see everybody else not fun or playing around, the ears have to sit back and watch all the time. But then you learn that you learn a lot from just sitting back and watching everything. You get to see a lot more things. Her mouth works really well. She's completely 14 and there's no cognitive side effects to what she has, but it has attacked her respiratory system and um, literally taken away every bit of muscle and nerve function that she has with her hands and her lower extremities. What in this world makes you the happiest? Oh, uh, not the family that I have. Because I have people to lean on that love me. Tell me about the impact your brother has had on you. Uh, he's one of my best friends. What makes your bond so special? He just accepts me for who I am. I can tell that family is extremely important to you. Why is that? Because they understand. They won't stare at me or say things behind my back. It's just like absolutely horrible to them. When you witness how much your bond means to your sister, how does that feel? Um, it feels good to know that it's there, and that's something I have. So if I'm having, if I'm having problems, I can turn to her, tell her, ask her what to do for it, many things. So, it, it feels good. When I want to do something with my brother, he's always on his phone and doesn't really want to do anything with me or go on a bike ride or something with me. So, I'll ask my sister if she wants to make something with me, like putty or slime. She's always there for me. She was actually born um, 7 pounds, 11 ounces, happy, healthy, perfectly normal. Walked, did everything that she was supposed to do right on cue. Her fourth birthday check up her well check she was not able to sit, sit on the stool and get up without using her legs to brace herself what is it like to be a 14 year old girl in your situation uh, 
different. Because I'm not like... I can't really go out with my friends, you know? They like hang out with them. Is Jay fully aware of the impact of her diagnosis? Yes. I know it may not work for everybody, but for Jacqueline, the truth has just always been the best policy for her. I'm not gonna um, maybe be so blunt to tell her things, but I'm always honest with her. She asks me a question, I'm, I'm honest. I don't, I don't wanna give her false, you know, expectations, but in reality, None of us are promised tomorrow. Well, when I go to sleep at night, sometimes I just think about a lot. So I just know I don't go to sleep until like late. So we just talk a lot. It's always fall asleep at least. I see you have a big smile on, Mackenzie. Does it make you happy that you're there for your sister? Yeah. It's good to know that you always have somebody by your side that'll stand up for you and defend you. Is it okay to be sad? Yep. Everybody has those moments, I think. When you have those moments, who do you lean on? Uh, I just pray. Pray that God make me happy. It's a, it's a tough journey. What have you learned from the journey? Strength. The kind of person that I want to be. Patience. Um, watch your words. Because you never know when the words that you speak to somebody might be the last words that you say to somebody. What do you believe your purpose is? Uh, to inspire others. And just to be a good light for people. She draws people to her. So when you have a presence like that, you have the capability of making a difference. And I believe that she's, she's done that. What does it mean to be a good light for people? To encourage them. To be uh, not ashamed of who they are. Or just to enjoy life. Do you two ever get in arguments? Yes. Yeah. About what? When she sneaks the iPad, then she tries to get on it. Or when she kills it, she has it plug it in. She changed the password. Yeah. She's the bossy one. What does she do that's bossy? She tells me what to do. I'll let me don't listen. Let's not start an argument. What would surprise people the most about you? That I'm not going. Most people probably look at me and think that. I'm not verbal, like some kids, which that's okay, I guess. But whatever they come up to me, I just talk them here off. She has a personality that will absolutely light up her room. Puppies or kittens? Puppies. Why puppies? I was totally my mom on the way here that when I grew up, I would adopt all the puppies. Why do you want to adopt all the puppies? So they can be happy too. For a parent, watching your child suffer is probably the hardest thing that you could ever have to endure. It was really hard for me to digest, prepare for a life without her when she's still here. So it was like, make funeral arrangements, get a plot for your child, but also care for her during the day. It was kind of a sick, twisted psychological thing because you're trying it's like morning but she's still here so in our previous home we had a long hallway from our bedroom to hers and i used to say that was my hallway to get my game face on so i had enough time to wipe my tears and put a smile on my face before i met her because she can read me like a book what's the most important thing your mom has taught you uh to not be ashamed of who you are except it because it's not going to change Nothing you can do about it, so just embrace it. What does love mean to you? That you never forget about somebody. I would hope that she can look at me and trust me and just find me as a, like, not only a brother, but a friend. Someone she can look to when she's down or something's wrong. Um, that I can help her with whatever it is. And just to have fun together. She's pretty darn awesome from head to toe. 
her personality, sense of humor. She's just real. And I love that about her. Thank you for teaching me new ways to accept who I am. How did she teach you that? Just to not care what people think about me. We live in the moment, we live for today, and whenever they had told us to prepare for a life without her, and I came to realize it, that's just not even possible. That's, that's so hard to do for a parent. And so we just decided to start living for today. And that's what we do, and we wake up, and the first thing that you can always do is thank God, because you woke up, and you're still breathing. So while you're here on this earth, be happy, be thankful, and make a difference. It's okay to be different. It's okay to be new, to be funny, or sad sometimes. Is there anything else you want the world to know about your sister, Mackenzie? That she's kind, and if you ever meet her, tell her that she's special, because she really is. Thanks for watching. If you appreciate what we're doing and want to see SBSK grow, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. This will help us reach even more people and make the world a better place. Thank you. Uh, Church for Gay is a nonprofit that we started a couple years ago to raise money for kids like us, uh, to raise money for people that don't have enough money to pay medical bills or get medical supplies. And we just have so blessed to have quite a few people that we've nominated. If you want to check it out, you can go to justforday.com. Why did you decide to start that nonprofit? Uh, to make an impact on other people and to let them know that other people are here to lean on. It's not just you.